Okay, I'd like you to take a look at A-sanwa gakko ni imas, the first sentence. Okay, so you can see that imas is a group 2 verb. So it comes from the word iru, just like taberu, it becomes tabemas, iru becomes imas. Okay, you can see that Mr. A is in school. So basically, ni it means in or at, it's basically a location particle. So this uh, ni particle, right, there's also another version, which is de. So we'll talk about it in a separate video. But let's just take a look at the word imas. Okay, and you have e san no hon wa hon dana ni arimas. So it comes from the word aru arimas. Okay, so over here, you also use the particle ni. So imas means to have, arimas also means to have. Okay. Uh, it can also mean there is something there. So what's the difference between imas and arimas? You'll find that in sentence 1 of your lesson plan, you actually see that uh, you use koneko for imas as well. So basically imas is for living things. Arimas is for non-living things. Okay, so I'll just write here. So basically imas for living things and arimas is for non-living things. Okay, so maybe I'll just like you to see another sentence structure. Let's look at imas. Eh? So both of these are for uh, living things. Basically, a san is a person, so he's a living thing. So you look at this uh, phrase, a san wa gakko ni imas versus gakko ni e san ga imas. So basically, it's actually um, just saying out the same uh, kind of content. Uh, however, just from the sentence structure, it's a bit different. You say, if you ask, hey, where's A-san? A-san wa doko desu ka? Then you say, A-san wa gakko ni imas. The second sentence is more pertaining to A-san. For the first sentence, gakko ni A-san ga imas, right? Probably someone asks, uh, who is there in, in the school? So, gakko ni A-san ga imas. So, basically, gakko is the focus here. Whereas in the second sentence, a san is the focus here. By the way, if it's not a ni in front of imas, if they actually say the person that is there, okay, for example, a san ga imas, you must use ga, never use wa. Okay? So similarly, if you actually say a san no hon wa hon dana ni arimas, it means that uh, you're actually talking about a san no hon, where, where exactly is doko. Uh, if it's hondana ni e san no hon ga arimas, probably means uh, you know what was that in the bookshelf. You don't really know what books there are, but you know that there is a bookshelf. Okay, same thing. You use ga arimas in the second sentence in this case.